What's up guys? It's Keenan and Haley from Nailed It Media and welcome back. Today we have a special episode where we're actually putting together a PC for a friend of ours. Isn't that going to be cool? Yeah. Alright. Is it my Uncle Dave? No, it's a different person. Yeah, I don't think you know this one. But we're going to be putting the computer together so stay tuned. Say it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Alright. Alright guys, so let's go over some of the parts that we got here in this build. Now, this is not going to be a gaming build. However, he did mention, uh, the customer did mention that uh, he was going to possibly play games in the future, so I definitely provided a route to do that. So, starting off with the biggest piece of the case, this is from Bit Phoenix, the Nova. It's a side-windowed case. Uh, you know, pretty budget case, right around 55 bucks in... You know, it's got the window on the side of it, and it's got pretty good reviews. I've never built in one, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, moving on. MSI B150M Pro VHL. Now, one of the poor parts about this is it is not overclockable motherboard, and our CPU is not overclockable either, so that's really not a big deal for us. But the other problem with it is it does restrict your RAM sticks at 2133. So keep that in mind if you, if you purchase this. Um... But it's a great budget board. It's from MSI. They make awesome products. So really not that big of a deal. So speaking of RAM, let's move on to the RAM. Now this is Ballistics DDR4 running at 2400 megahertz. As I mentioned before, the motherboard will slow that down to a 2133. So we're not impeding this really at all. So uh, Core i5-6500. Um, what can you say? Four cores. Uh, stock heatsink fan. Awesome. It's got a... Uh, base frequency of 3.2 and boost clock of 3.9, you know, quad core. Just an awesome processor. Going to do everything very well that he wants it to do. And again, if he moves into gaming, uh, you know, this will handle it. Not even a problem. So, power supply, we went with the EVGA 500B. Uh, this is a semi-modular bronze certified uh, power supply. Um, you know, I picked it up on a steel. It was like 35 bucks. It's just an awesome little power supply. I have used this before and no problems at all. So, uh, storage. All right, moving on to storage. We got a 120 gigabyte SSD from Kingston. Now, an awesome little SSD, as you can see, 10 times faster than a standard mechanical drive. And again, I, I got this on a good deal, so it's just an awesome little thing. So he'll be able to store his uh, Windows programs and a few games on it if he wants to. Uh, and they're going to load real fast for him. Now, for all the rest of his media, we got a one terabyte WD Blue Drive, which is going to do just everything he needs it to. And awesome. Just a, just a hard drive being a hard drive. So anyway, moving on. Uh, we got some LEDs here. If I can open these. These are from Airgoo. So, they look pretty cool. Um, I've never used these particular ones. Uh, but they were another cool option and they, you know, had some good reviews at a, at a good price. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I will link everything that you see in this, in the video description down below, as well as I'll put a PC part picker list for this build. Now, in that PC part picker list will include a graphics card, I'm not really sure yet, probably like an RX 480 or, you know, maybe a 750 Ti or something along those lines. And this system is just going to be an awesome gaming beast and it's going to do everything he needs it to do just fine. So, that being said, let's go ahead and stick all this crap into that there box and make it a computer. Let's do it.
part sucks. Oh yeah, here we go. Refer to owner's manual. Alright, this thingy here is gonna go into this thingy right now. Actually, I'm gonna cut this. Okay, this is that one. Now we're gonna go right chow. Whoop, this way. All right, so power LED or HDD LED positive on one. Right, chill, like chill. There we go. And next. And reset, switch. Ah, oh. we're about to run out of battery, guys. I have to switch my other camera. Stand by. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. We got power! All right, so finishing thoughts on the build. Um, the Bit Phoenix case, you know, it's a $55 case or a $50 case, and you know, it if you're on a budget, it does work. Uh, however, I do suggest spending the extra 10 or 15 and saving your money to get the NZXT S340 case sitting behind me. I mean, it's just world's better. It has a basement to hide all your power supply and your wires and all that crap, and it's got awesome cable management. The cable management in the BitPhoenix case was uh, lacking, uh, but, you know, we did get it all put together, and it ended up looking pretty nice. So, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. I got Windows installed on it and it posted just fine. Everything's good with it, so I will be delivering it to the customer here directly. So, put down in the comments down below what you think about this video. Hit the thumbs up button if it helped and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, also in the video description, as I mentioned before, you'll find links to all of the products that I put together as well as the PC part picker list, uh, including the graphics card that I picked out for this, which is a 750 Ti. So I think this is going to be an awesome productivity machine for now, and then you know, in the game in the future, uh, if he wants to play some games on it, it'll be everything he needs it to be. So uh, be sure to check that video description, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button, and uh, until next time. <laughs>